I was so honored to have helped start and manage the Web Community Service Project for eight years between 2008 and 2015. The service project was created and designed to select a project of community need that gives an opportunity for many diverse people to help give back to the local host WefTech city. On an annual basis, WefTech, WEF's Technical and Exhibition Conference, brings in 20,000 plus water professionals from around the world. With a community of empowered professionals, this project aligns with WEF's mission and vision of connecting water professionals and increasing the awareness of the impact and value of water. Biosolids, rain gardens, outdoor classrooms, tons of native plantings and trees and improving stormwater management are just a few examples of the projects that we have done in the past. Right here in our nation's capital in 2005 was where the service project began. A handful of young professionals, some dedicated donors, and amazing volunteers planted trees along the Potomac River. Bringing in key stakeholders, in 2006, the service project was formally formed and incorporated into WefTech 2008 in Chicago, Illinois. And now the story begins. Thanks for that overview, Diane. What I'd like to do now is read some statistics relating to the service project over the years. So back in 2007, WEF Students and Young Professionals Committee was given a challenge to design and launch a service project that gives back to the WEF Tech host community. And because the cities that WEF Tech visits often have some major flooding issues, the SYPC decided to focus on green infrastructure projects they really help alleviate local flooding and then educate the community about the value of water. And so the first ever service project was completed at Pulaski Park in Chicago back in 2008. And the park had some major flooding issues. So what the SYPC did is installed a 200 square foot rain garden uh, with just over 15 volunteers. And since that first project, the WEF Community Service Project has really increased in size and scope. In recent years, it's, it's not uncommon for projects to include more than 200 volunteers from across the world. And we've also seen recent service projects install more than 2,000 square feet of green infrastructure. So that's really a lot of hard work, native plants and sweat that goes into these recent projects. And to date, WEF has completed 12 service projects in four U.S. cities, that's Orlando, Los Angeles, New Orleans, and Chicago. And together, these projects have created six rain gardens, eight bioswales, two outdoor classrooms, and one stormwater managing walkway, which is incredible. Um, I know I can't wait to see how the project will continue to grow and evolve in the years to come, and we hope you continue to follow along. The first time I volunteered at the service project was back in 2016 in New Orleans. Now, after working for four years and more years to come with the service project, I came to realize that part of its legacy is to continuously develop, produce, and improve programs that are implemented throughout the year and the day of the event for the project itself to succeed. Now, just as important, and certainly more valuable. It's the hard work and dedication of our members and, and subcommittee volunteers. See, the service project just doesn't address or help the community, the particular community we go to. It offers a unique opportunity to our members and volunteers to give back to the community. Certainly based fundamentally on the love and dedication and commitment that they already have, not only for the community, but this industry, and most importantly, the environment. That is really how this project gets to be successful every year. It takes dozens of volunteers and WEF staff to make the service project a success each year. Typically, before the current project is coming to an end, Many in leadership are already discussing and planning for the next one. Planning a successful project is a year-long effort. Within a month or two of the recently completed project, the request for information, or RFI, 
for the next project is issued and the leadership team stays busy evaluating those responses to find the best project for the upcoming year. Shortly after that, multitudes of volunteers are organized along engineering consultants, equipment suppliers, and community liaisons from across the world to participate in regularly scheduled calls. Hundreds of volunteer hours are needed to develop the design, logistics, and timelines for the project over the remaining six to eight months. Not to mention, thousands of dollars worth of in-kind donations are required to deliver a highly successful project in one day during WEFTEC. After a year's worth of work, there is still much work to be done on the day of the service project to ensure that the project is a success. In the days leading up to the project, leadership team members would work with community partners to ensure that the site is well prepped for the service project to take place. I am Marcia St. Martin. I retired as the Executive Director of the Surgeon Water Board of New Orleans in 2014. As a retired water utility director, and an active participant in the New Orleans environmental community, I'd like to share with you how the service projects have benefited New Orleans. Most of the city of New Orleans is below sea level. Annual rainfall normally exceeds 61 inches. The creation of the 2012 City Park, 2014 Conrad Park, 2016 City Hall parking lot, and a 2018 to May Recreational Center Bioswale projects with native wetland plants created exciting visual educational tools to help my community in changing our mindset and emphasis of immediately evacuating every drop of rainwater that falls to capturing rainwater runoff to help reduce subsidence and improve the quality of water pumped into Lake Pontchartrain. The 2018 Treme Recreational Center project included a wonderful educational mural with a focus on living with water, which is vital to living in New Orleans. Thank you, WEF, for selecting the historic Treme neighborhood for the 2018 service project. We are looking forward to working with you on another exciting community project in 2022. I would like to thank the Service Project leadership for the opportunity I had to share my knowledge and experience with the WAF Service Day project. The day itself was most amazing. Service Projects offer students and young professionals the opportunity to grow both personally and professionally. On a professional standpoint, you will get first-hand experience with the construction and implementation of green infrastructure. And by volunteering early with WEF or with your member association, you can learn about the development of these projects. On a personal level, you get to help a community in need and improve the water environment. You also get to network with like-minded YPs and gain friends in the industry. The Pulaski Park Rain Garden was the first service project constructed as part of WEF Tech. When it was built in 2008, the Illinois Water Environment Association took responsibility for some of the upkeep of the garden. Now, as a member of the IWEA Student and Young Professionals Committee, I participate in the biannual maintenance of the garden. The obvious benefit that the service projects provide is a way to interact and network with fellow engineers throughout the country when we all get together for a typical uh, WEF tech. Um, on the other hand, we also have the benefit of actually getting your hands dirty and doing the plantings, getting an idea of what it takes to actually construct the things that we are planning in, conceptually in the office. The service project has grown over the years, which requires a lot of detail and many people to ensure the project can be implemented in a half day time with the needed number of volunteers to get the job done. It gains high visibility from WEF leadership, the local community leaders, and the media. This is a tremendous thing. Look at all of the people here, these important people who have come to support this. The Commissioner Garcia and Commissioner Anaya, Alderman, the Principal, Department of Water Management, all of that's how important this is. The Service Project Chair and Co-Chair gain skills in developing RFPs, project management, a lot of delegation, problem solving, risk and safety management, being a spokesperson for the project, 
working with global volunteers, ensuring the project aligns with WEF, its mission, better understanding of how to work within the WEF environment, and much, much more. As you can imagine, chairing this program is a big task and a big commitment by responsible people. Managing successful programs that meet WEF's mission offers young professionals a wonderful journey into WEF and their member association leadership. I was a college student when I said yes to the opportunity to be a part of the service project and learned how important it is for someone to say, I believe that you can do this and to empower you to be that leader. And that was who Leslie Samuel and Bob Wimmer were for me. And to be surrounded by people who helped navigate the challenges and, and help this new idea and new project be a success. Uh, those are skills that I learned throughout the service project that I have carried with me in my career. But perhaps the most important thing that I've learned and gained is friendships that have lasted over a decade and they are our friends across the country and in different walks and areas of life, but I would not trade our work together on the service project for anything. In addition to what Anastasia stated, I envision the service project growing with even more YP involvement in the future. The service project has already grown a lot in the past few years, and I think that's a testament to how successful and impactful these projects have been, not only for the communities that we serve, but also for the YPs that help to lead the effort. Especially as green infrastructure becomes more prevalent across the country, I see more YPs getting involved with the design team to not only improve their technical expertise in the subject matter, but also to get design experience, especially if their day-to-day -day job is not involved with design or engineering. As an engineer myself who primarily works on green infrastructure, I'm excited to see YPs get more involved and learn about green infrastructure and connect with the communities that these practices impact. There are so many ways for students and young professionals to get involved with the Community Service Project, whether it be volunteering for one of our many subcommittees or volunteering on the day of. The project offers so many amazing opportunities. Volunteers have the opportunity to make a true and lasting impact on our local host community. So, what do you think? You ready to come and join the journey? I joined the journey and have the opportunity to forge meaningful bonds and recreate space for Treme Community Center. As I joined the journey, I became more aware of the water issues that are faced by a lot of communities in the US, and I'm happy to be a small part of the solution because water is worth it.